An historic win for Ireland here at the MCG. As the rains fell, time ran out for England and Ireland took the points by virtue of winning by five runs under the Duckworth Lewis Stern. And there were brilliant scenes, weren't there, as the players went to the other side of the ground, the smattering of support that was here, and then went over and acknowledged them. Yeah, a very famous win this for Ireland. And as you say, wonderful scenes for their players and their families and supporters. A small number of them, it must be said, but wonderful scenes for them. Um, and, you know, people remember this night as they did and do the Bangalore victory in India 2011. A lot of young Irish cricketers of, a, of a, an age that would have looked up to that victory. You know, they would have been probably 10, 11, 12 watching on television, watching all these Irish players make legends of themselves. Uh, and they will be mem remembered equally so now. Where was this game won and lost? I think it was lost and won in, in that new ball spell from England, or at least the first 10 overs of England's innings. In helpful circumstances, Ireland managed to get themselves, I think, about 103 for one at the end of the 12th over. They are a bit disappointed not to get more than 157. But the conditions were helpful. The ball was swinging, it was seeming. They were very, very useful conditions, as in fact Ireland's new ball bowlers then showed when they picked up wickets, when they got the chance to bowl in those conditions. And Mark Wood was very candid at the halfway mark when NASA spoke to him for our show. He said that was a below par performance and in the end it was a below par performance that came back to bite England. He also mentioned their lack of crowd, you've got to generate your own energy and whatever. Do you think England took Ireland lightly? I don't think they took them lightly. Everything we heard from their players, all the rhetoric was about, you know, trying to treat Ireland as you would any other team, which is exactly right. I was here yesterday actually and watched them practice and they did a magnificent series of fielding drills you know they were right on it they looked intense I, I think that would be a, a harsh thing to throw at them to say they took Ireland lightly because you know Ireland are a dangerous team and England are very well aware of that they've been beaten <laughs> by them in the past they've seen them turn over West Indies by nine wickets in this tournament they've got match winners so it would be foolish to do that and I don't think England did they were just below par tonight and beaten by a team who played the conditions better Cracking day for Ireland, cracking day for their captain as well, Andrew Balburnie, because obviously he's got the result and he played, his innings was a difference. Yep, player of the match at the end and that stand between him and Tucker that set the platform really for Ireland. We talked about perhaps that England's bowlers were below par, uh, but that was an excellent stand between Tucker and Balburnie uh, and that's really where the game was won. And I tried to get a smile out of him at the toss actually, you know, talking to him about that game in Bangalore and he was very, very stern faced. But right at the end there, there was a big, broad smile and a, a great day for him. Next up for England is Friday, back here at the MCG against Australia. I mean, that's tasty and probably must win for both. Yeah, it probably is. It's, a, an, it's essentially a quarter-final, a knockout. Whoever loses is probably not going to get through. It is a really tough group. Um, every game has got a lot on it. It's going to be a rocking atmosphere here. If England were complaining that it was a bit sterile today, uh, watch out for Friday. It won't be Friday. Join us at 8.30 in the morning. Hopefully the rains will stay away.